I just want to give a few tips on how you now could start pensing into a new timeline and, and start focusing on your, your dream life, I would say. So how do you do that and what is important at this time? Pack your bags and leave and just work from anywhere and um, have a vacation. We are now calling in from St. Gallen in Switzerland and this is a nice view. We're having a morning coffee. This is Her Majesty. We are on our first day here. Um, we arrived yesterday or last night pretty late. Left Norway which um, felt good. It's fine. Uh, nothing I missed there. So if you want to travel um, and you want to go different places, if you have, if you have arranged yourself to have a lifestyle, you can go anywhere and uh, work anywhere. We were just thinking about how, or what kind of rating does some call have in Switzerland for, for nomads and, and people that are freelancers, people that are able to choose their location whenever they want. Okay, it's a little bit disappointing because the total score of St. Gallen is 2.3 over 5. So quite your flight is good, but the community is like, okay, the costs are really bad. If they say like $5,500 per month, which is not true because I've lived here and with three, four thousand you really have a good life. Internet is not that good. I didn't experience that. Um, fun is good, temperature is at the moment good, humidity is bad at the moment, the air is good, safety is good, lack of crime is great, education is high, yeah, income level is high, English speaking is okay, and otherwise nightlife is okay and places to work from very bad. <laughs> So what is a timeline shift and what is important right now? When you raise your consciousness level, um, you see, it's like getting your head above the clouds and you see more clearly what's going on. It's like you're adapt, you, you develop a filter for, for the reality you live in. You're not so easily tempted and fooled and tricked. So it makes you stronger and uh, you become more capable to your own choices in life and that's going to accelerate your growth into a future that you want where your dreams already exist and that's why it's so important now to make a choice of what type of timeline you want to pens into do you want to do you want to stay in the, in the fear uh, by feeding yourself um, news for example um, stay in the matrix um, or do you want to pop into a different timeline by completely um, activating your filter and shut all that out and only focusing on um, things that are beneficial for your dreams and for your mind and your, your body and your consciousness. When you do that, you're going to pop into a new timeline because your frequency range is going to change so much that you cannot stay in this old, old world, this old reality anymore. So you will eventually start to see different synchronicities happening. People not matching your energy start to detach and fall apart and fall away. They fade out, it becomes arguments, things happen. 
you may suddenly have to change your job uh, and then go to another place to live and uh, change locations. Um, your clothing and eating habits, what you consume mentally and organically uh, will change. And um, all this is happening because you are changing your consciousness level. So with consciousness going up, your frequency goes up and that puts you into a higher level of, of awareness where, where reality reflects, that's reflecting back to you necessarily will have to change. Passed by a flock of uh, kids going to some kind of a, you know, camp, summer camp, I guess, up in the mountains. The area is super nice, super clean, wide, vast mountain, beautiful nature. And we, we do have a beautiful weather these days. It's a really nice uh, summer feeling here. You like it? I love it. It's actually a seminar um, hotel. Some minutes because some people or some companies they really love to escape from the city and to come to some landscape green areas. needed break from the city here coming out here more on the conscious side I would say beautiful place to be my taste of nature what we see here yeah love this kind of well um, maintained traditional hotel uh, it used to be a resting home for women actually uh, back in the days so uh, as far as I was told not until 1997 was men actually allowed in here? I'm gonna see if I can get myself some coffee and I'm just gonna sit up here with my Queen of Hearts and uh, do some work, get back to you clients out there.
So changing timelines and changing your reality, it's basically about changing your frequency. How do you change your frequency? Well, first of all, uh, you got to change how you think and feel. If you specifically start to focus on this, to make it a life habit every single day, to think and feel differently, um, your reality will shift. That's just how it works. As some of you may know, we are in a transition on this planet into a new reality. It is super important for you now to choose the reality that you want. So I know there's a lot of sensitive people out there, people that have gone through you know, big life changes, personal growth, spiritual growth especially. You know, with spiritual growth, you also get a higher, higher consciousness level. And when you raise your consciousness, you observe life differently, you change your values, you change who you want to spend time with, you change your preference for places to live, what to eat, what to consume, or media and entertainment and, and people. And um, I know that many of you are in a time now where you simply just, many of you can't stand people. You can't stand to be in crowds, uh, to be uh, among, you know, the typical sheep herd, as some of you say, in society. And, and, that, and the reason is that you are going through the shift now. You're going through the changes. You have different standards for life now, different expectations for for this planet and what you want in your dreams. You're stepping out of the nine to five or the shitty educational system we have, or I know some of you, many of you actually, that I've been in touch with myself are stepping out from religion and all that mind fuck that comes with religion, which is good. Religion is falling apart on the planet and that's good to see. There will be a kind of a split because consciousness will develop some people will follow along with that, some people won't. People that won't, they want to stick with the system. They are completely hypnotized by the matrix. They believe in the media. They believe in the government. Um, they believe in the medical companies that uh, keep them uh, full of toxins in the body. That's probably been a big wake up call for a lot of people after this last fake pandemic we had. When you raise your consciousness level, um, you see, it's like getting your head above the clouds and you see more clearly what's going on. It's like you're adapt, you, you develop a filter for, for the reality you live in. You're not so easily tempted and fooled and tricked. So it makes you stronger and uh, you become more capable to your own choices in life. And that's going to accelerate your growth into a future that you want where your dreams already exist. And that's why it's so important now to make a choice of what type of timeline you want to pence into. A lot of sensitive people find it heavy to be around crowds and, and regular people. And the reason is that uh, there's just not a match anymore. It's like they feel they walk around in their own bubble. They feel they don't belong. They feel lonely. And that's, that's the journey of, uh, of spiritual growth. It can be lonely because it's like, you're shrinking your tribe into the very few that actually understand you. And that can even include family. It very often includes family because <clears throat> even though having a family is, is nice, it doesn't mean you belong there. And it's the same thing for me. Most people in what I call my family is not within the frequency range of a reality that I operate on. So it becomes a separation and um, I'm living in a kind of a different reality than they do. They come about their daily lives home in Norway and I don't. And I told them many years ago, I told them that if you don't keep up with the area of life that I put attention and, and energy into, I may just disappear out of your reality. And I remember at that time that um, they laughed at me actually, which is normal. And then two, three years later, I disappeared and they don't see me anymore.
August, what is it today, the 21st or something? 22nd. August? 22nd. Second. Today we're heading out for a walk up to one of the mountain tops here. Um, hills. Hills. Hills, yeah, it's not even a mountain. Yeah, it's like a tiny, it's two, like two breasts in the landscape. As long as there is grass on it, oh. Swiss people call it the hill. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, so it was nice to see here. Just, uh, because Switzerland is more open to more natural healing and medicine and all that stuff. So here in the city now, we see so many natural healing clinics and healing methods. And uh, instead of, you know, in the general world, just stuffing people with pills, 30, 10 minutes visit to the doctor and get the fuck out. And you're done. There are fountains with tap water everywhere. It's like mountain water even. And uh, you just refresh yourself all the time whenever you can and drink from the fountain. Luckily we didn't uh, take the same way back. Oh, I love forests like this. I love forests like this. I love it. Reminds me of Norway, but uh, of course Switzerland has a different style. So you, um, you get a feeling of a much more clean and pristine forest. It's like a fairy tale. And I found a fairy tale princess. She didn't hear it. So I hope um, this gave you a little bit of uh, confirmation and uh, advice what you can do. Focus on yourself, start researching, start boosting your energy, change what you eat, change what you read and consume, and change where you, where you um, live and, and operate every day and, uh, and you will start to see that there will be a change in your reality.